Hi, my name is Phoebe and I've been living in a van for two years. Pag meron akong sariling sasakyan that I can sleep in, hindi na ako magugulat na pagkagising ko, nasan ako. Yung ganun, ang mag-iiba lang yung the moment na buksan ko yung pinto, nasa ibang place na ako. Let's get into the fun part. One thing I learned for sure when building and living in this van is natuto akong magtipid kasi nga I want to stay in a place as long as possible kasi it doesn't have to be extravagant naman. We can heat our own water and then make our own coffee and we can also make our own food. Sobrang laki rin na natitipid ko. Siguro I would say mga 70% din yung natitipid namin. I would try to haggle with the price ng parking. I usually park at paid parking spots and by the beach lagi eh, kasi maraming tao. I would feel safe, diba? I have a renewable energy. Naka-solar ako. So, wala akong babayaran sa electricity talaga. Tapos yung sa water, eto ah, hack ko siguro sa mga Pilipino, no? Yung water available halos kahit saan. Mga public restroom. Pasok ka lang sa Jolly, yung dala ka isang liter ng tubig. Ganyan, yung kakaroon ka na. Or if you need drinking water, you can simply ask. Most expensive lang na bill is data. I have a diesel engine kasi. Hindi siya magastos. Sobrang tipid niya. The cost of the maintenance, siguro let's say mga 100 to 200, but the customization itself, yung bahay itself niya, mga 100 to 150. Welcome to my kitchen area. This is just a double sink, one acting as a functioning sink with a pump faucet, and the other one, I converted it into a burner. Hindi siya as scary as you think. I just make sure that all my doors are locked. And then I also have two sets of keys. I have a key by the bed. And then I also have one key na nandun sa driver's side. Para madaling buksan yung van or paanda rin yung van. If may mapila akong kakaiba sa labas, meron akong taster na dalawa. As far as air circulation naman, meron akong exhaust. Kaya okay siya. Nung nagkaroon ako ng kasama, so medyo matapang-tapang na. Ang shower, hindi siya mahirap, ha? Kapag nasa province ka, most of their restrooms, it's parang may free-flowing lang na, na faucet, hindi po. Tapos sometimes may kimba pa sila. Kasi van life is not really for those na sanay sa comfortable life. So pag nakakita ka water, hindi mo ka lang doon. Tapos na-try naming magbayad sa resorts. They offer lang 20 pesos, you can take a shower na. You'd be surprised sa sobrang dami ng mga postong available, lalo na sa mga resorts. Ang mahirap lang siguro is gathering up the courage to actually take a shower in that spot. Ako kasi nawala na yung hiya ko talaga. <laughs> Sa akin, ang iniisip ko, An anong gagawin ko? Eh, madumi ako. Di maliligo ako, di ba? <laughs> Mas naintindihan ko yung, eka ako muna bago ko isipin yung opinion ng iba. Parang ganyan. You see, fan life is not for everyone. It's not always pretty and not always easy. It can be uncomfortable at times. But if you're willing to trade a little comfortability for this kind of lifestyle, I think it's all worth it. The real struggle was starting. You would hear a lot of hearsay from other people. Siyempre, this is not a typical lifestyle. And also, meeting the babae ka pa. My mom and my brother worried about me. Oh, babae ka. Maliit ka. Tapos alis ka magkasa. It can be discouraging sometimes, pero kasi nga, I was so passionate about this van, so I didn't let anyone talk me out of it. Under this foam is a portable toilet. I use it for wee wee only, no number twos, because yuck. <laughs> for number twos, you can always plan it out. There's a lot of public and pay toilets available almost everywhere, so that's not really a problem. Nagkaroon ako na sobrang dami tayo mag-reflect. Hindi mo kailangan ng mga maraming bagay to be happy. So it taught me how to be simple. Hindi ko naman kailangan ng malaking bahay pala. Ang importante, functional lang siya. Five years from now, I don't see myself stopping. I love this eh. Ayoko na yung parang rat race sa city that we do. 
na kailangan ganito ka, kailangan naabot mo na yung ganito, pero si ganyan, is okay pa. Or yung mga typical na yung traditional Filipino na dapat. <laughs> sayang naman, manager ka na, sayang naman. Ano, taas na ng position mo, ba't dito ka sa ban na ganyan? Parang ganun. If you want to try living in a vehicle or living in a van, you have to be 100% sure that you want it. Because it's not easy. I plan to live here a long time eh. Once you get the hang of it, it's very convenient. Saka sobrang saya niya. Promise, sobrang saya niya.